Welcome back awesome Ashley fans and subscribers. I have another Dime Novel Legends uh, toy here. This is the Saloon Bartender by Chicken Fried Toys. 118 scale. He looks really good and he comes with this big barrel and other accessories which I'll look at in a moment. It says in the back, quick of a smile but quick of a pull of beer or a pour of whiskey. This friendly must mustachioed face hides an untold number of secrets from countless checkered pasts maybe even his own and then it shows some other figures in the line uh, this is wave one first print run of 2000 pieces the only criticism i've got of these toys so far reviewed one is that you have to rip to get open it can't reseal. seal so i'd rather you know i'd rather keep this back nice not have to rip it and I, but i don't want to keep it in there i want to take it out and review and play and pose and blah 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 but other than that, these are really, really nice looking toys. Uh, let's open them up and have a look. And well, that was a very easy open. I can almost seal that back straight away. Okay, and he also comes with these accessories which don't, sorry, which aren't included in the packaging because they're far too big. So let's have a look here. So uh, we have got a barrel here, very nice textured, looks really well on a painting. In fact, the only thing I would do is maybe dry brush a little bit of silver around the banding here. And that's almost perfect. And what I've just noticed here, you've got the tap here for beer, it says, which will fit in there. I'm very smart and clever then on the reverse side, it says pickles. And if you just close it in again. So you've got two for the price of one. His base is nice. Three uh, pegs, he can do different poses. He comes with a overflowing full beer glass, um, or whiskey glass maybe, and the empty beer glass here. In fact, that, I believe, there we go. I'm telling you a lie. That goes inside, like it's a full beer glass, or take it out and it's empty. Really nice feature. Well thought out, well done by the team at Chicken Fried Toys. I do like that a lot. That's a very, very nice feature indeed. And then we have a stand for the barrel, which can go on your uh, saloon bar. You get your beer out of there, or your pickles, if you're more of a pickles person. Like so, very, very nice. Okay, those are some of the best accessories actually I've seen in 118. Really, really nice accessories. Okay, let's have a look at the actual figure. This side. So his apron comes off. Uh, however, it's tied quite. It's a uh, the back is quite tight, so I'd be quite scared of that stretching too much and snapping. It does come off. He has a waistcoat which is part of his sculpt, and that looks really really nice. But the waistcoat as well, I think, will come off. There is movement, so I'm assuming the waistcoat come off too, can come off too, but that might be quite difficult. Okay, let's look. Face sculpt very nice. I like that sort of hair and that old world moustache does look particularly effective. Good. Let's look at articulation. Has a left and a right. Uh, he should have a down and up. Very small down and up, no side, tiny side to side, sorry. Shoulders are a bit tight on these when they come out, but they are okay to pose normally without hot water. Gets a great look at that angle there. He gets over the uh, 180, fantastic. Bicep bend, um, I'm expecting around about 90 degrees. Yeah, it's good. Hands, uh, both trigger hands, uh, they both turn. This hand has articulation, 
and the other hand does two, which is good. Uh, waist, it's from the uh, actual waist, no torso. He does get a, for, a small forwards, backwards, side to side and turn, but the apron gets in the way. Legs, the apron's getting in the way again, but he can do full splits. He's a cowboy taekwondo practitioner. Uh, backwards, not very good because the angle. Forwards is very good, but again, the apron gets in the way. Uh, there is no thigh turn. Double kneecap. Look at that. You can't get tight. That's an incredibly tight. Amazing on double kneecap there. Ankles are the part I'm worried about. There is movement here, which is good. Uh, the other leg is a bit stiffer. But there's hardly anything, if anything, for going forwards and backwards, which means it's going to be very hard to do dynamic poses with him. But he's a great looking figure nonetheless. Um, let's say he holds the uh, pint glass, should be quite easy. They've got very nice sort of rubbery, there we go, look at that. Very nice rubbery fingers. He can hold his glass quite well, though. he's just going to spill his drink out if you're not careful holding like that. He holds it okay. He might need actually different hands to actually hold it better, but it's acceptable. Here's a great looking figure. He stands up okay if you're leaning forwards a slight touch to counterbalance the uh, lack of articulation in the ankles. If I compare it to the Marshall I reviewed previously, and you see my suggested videos over here somewhere. Again, the Marshall with the same sort of feet problem has to lean forwards quite a bit. With good ammo compared to Calamity, who is a Fortnite figure, who is who I actually got because I went to get some of these because I thought they work well together, and she does. She looks great when next to these two guys, though she is far more cartoony looking in her actual sculpt on the head. They scale well; her head's a bit big. They look good together. It's nice to have a nice range of cowboy figures with more coming in the future. This is the saloon bartender, a great pickup, and I think the accessories are amazing with that barrel and that beer glass, which can be empty or full. Okay, this is an awesome match signing out, saying please like, share, and subscribe. I'll be back to the more awesome match videos for you. Stay happy and keep collecting, and please click on the notifications icon, the one shaped like a bell, to stay up to date, latest uploads, videos, etc. Okay, bye bye.